Good morning. Good day. Um, as some people think this trial is a contest of lawyers, or even worse, a competition between political parties. It's neither. It's a moment of truth for America. The evidence will show you that ex-President Trump was no innocent bystander. The evidence will show that he clearly incited the January 6th insurrection. It will show that Donald Trump surrendered his role as commander-in-chief and became the inciter-in-chief of a dangerous insurrection. That mob was summoned, assembled, and incited by the former President of the United States, Donald Trump. In the weeks prior to, during, and after the election, he used the same words over and over and over again. You will hear over and over three things. You can see them on the screens. Now, all of us in this room have run for election, and it's no fun to lose. I'm a Texas Democrat. We've lost a few elections over the years. But can you imagine telling your supporters that the only way you could possibly lose is if an American election was rigged and stolen from you? And senators, all of us know and all of us understand how dangerous that is for our country. Because the most combustible thing you can do in a democracy is convince people that an election doesn't count. Our commander-in-chief tweeted, big protest in DC on January 6th. Be there. Will be wild. This was the save the date sent out 18 days before the event on January 6th. And it wasn't a casual one-off reference or a single invitation. For the next 18 days, Donald Trump would make sure to remind them over and over and over to show up on January 6th. And he would tell them exactly what he wanted them to do. And let me be very clear. The president wasn't just coming for one or two people or Democrats like me. He was coming for you, for Democratic and Republican senators. He was coming for all of us, just as the mob did at his direction. There is uh, some very graphic, uh, violent footage uh, coming, just so people are aware. What you are about to hear has not been made public before. Multiple capital entries! Multiple capital entries! 13, 18. 12 to 50, we're coming around uh, from the south side. Officer Goodman passes Senator Mitt Romney and directs him to turn around in order to get to safety. You were just 58 steps away from where the mob was amassing and where police were rushing to stop them. They were yelling. In this security video, you can see how the Capitol Police created a line and blocked the hallway with their bodies to prevent rioters at the end of the hall from reaching you and your staff. This body camera footage is from 4.27 p.m., over two hours from when the Capitol was first breached. The attack on police that afternoon was constant. Well, some of you may say, well, who was paying attention anyway? Well, that mob was paying attention. My kids didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution. And Mike Pence is not a traitor to this country. He's a patriot. Senators, You've seen all the evidence so far, and this is clear. On January 6th, President Trump left everyone in this Capitol for dead. Statements were attributed to me moments ago by the House impeachment managers. Statements relating to the content of conversations between a phone call involving President Trump and Senator Tuberville. Mm -hmm. 
were not made by me. They're not accurate. And they're contrary to fact. I move pursuant to Rule 16 that they be stricken from the record. Okay, we're going to withdraw it this evening and without any prejudice to the ability to resubmit it, if possible, and then we can debate it if we need it, but it's not, it's, this is much ado about nothing because it's not critical in any way to our case. You're not the Thank one you. being cited as a witness, sir. Senator stands adjourned. <laughs>